Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Uh, for those of you that are currently subscribed, uh, make sure you hit that little bell icon just so you can get notified of any new videos that I post. For those of you that are not subscribers and new to this channel, welcome and thanks again for checking me out. Um, definitely subscribe for more future content relating to Airsoft, car related videos and then even a newer segment to this channel which is my real steel firearms um, the other thing too is check out my store tab in my channel um, i do have some pretty epic airsoft apparel anything from sweaters t-shirts coffee mugs iphone cases to pillows and posters so um, check that out guys and support the channel um, it allows me to continue to produce content with more reviews more products and that sort of thing i'll really appreciate it guys now let's get into this video Alrighty, so I um, have a new kind of addition to my Real Steel Firearms collection, as you guys can tell by the title of the video. Um, it is going to be an AR-15 that I recently purchased, and I am super excited to show this with you guys because getting an AR has definitely been something I wanted to do for quite some time. I have still yet to take it to the range to really break it in, but um, I literally purchased it maybe about a month or so ago, and I finally have some time to make a video on it just to share with you guys. Um, so that is what we're going to be talking about today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so what you guys are looking at right now is a pretty cool little carrying case that I got for it. Um, it did originally come in a cardboard box, obviously, um, but what we're going to unveil here in just a moment is the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 um, MOESL Mid Mal Magpul Series black so that obviously was totally scripted because the title of this rifle is just so long um, this one is going to be the 556 223 remington edition so this one also has a 16 inch barrel and is able to take a 30 round magazine um, so the cool thing with why i went with a uh, 556 rifle is because you're going to be able to fire two different cartridges um, you could fire a 556 and a 223 remington so um, it kind of is uh, two different parties there, which is something you know that I wanted to go with and buying ammo for is a little bit easier too, um, given the whole craziness with COVID-19 especially. Um, but what you're looking at right here is the Smith & Wesson and it is it is just a beauty. I can't get enough of it already. Um, so let's have a quick and closer look at this beast and we'll go from there. All right, so obviously you guys can tell that um, I did, uh, whoops, I did check the actual rifle, made sure that the breech was clear. Um, obviously you can see that I have it locked off so it does not serve any harm um, as far as being loaded or anything like that. There's no magazine inside of it. So just wanted to kind of put that out there as an FYI so everybody is kind of aware um, that I do care about you know safety and I take that very seriously when dealing with firearms. So with that said, um, you guys can tell that Smith & Wesson did a fantastic job. Um, I ended up hitting a pretty good sale with um, one of the stores that I purchased this from online um, because the price ended up ballooning to well into the four figures for this um, particular um, AR-15 model or model M&P-15. I purchased this for about 900 bucks, which I feel is a steal because like I said, I ended up seeing it probably a week or two later for nearly $1,300. It was pretty outrageous. Um, but as you guys can see, the stock is just beautiful. It is going to be a retractable stock by hitting this lever here. And again, it just adjusts based on your preference. For me, being a bigger individual, having it all the way extended seems to work very well for me as far as comfort goes. Um, and again, you can just tell that the quality is fantastic. Um, and then obviously the sights too. Um, it does have the Magpul sight here that flips up um, by hitting this little lever here. Um, top rail for adjusting any type of optics of your choice, which I am going to do that at one point. This thing is still new out of the box essentially and I haven't really gotten much um, add-ons or anything like that. The only add-on I really have is put a small little rail on here to just mount a bipod. So that's really the only addition that did not come with this particular rifle. Um, but we'll get into kind of a closer look so you guys can see um, a little bit more of that detail that Smith & Wesson produced here. 
So here's an idea again of that stock that I was talking about. Um, you got to just see the quality in this. I, I feel like the camera does justice as much as it can here, but um, it's it's just really fantastic um, because this lever is just super easy to use. You flip it up, pull, boom, you're good to go. And if you wanted to put it back in its stationary position, same thing, it locks into place and you're good to go. Um, obviously the um, construction for the lower and the upper are just fantastic i would say this is obviously my first ar that i've owned i've shot them in the past i've never owned one um, i feel like this one is definitely a higher quality than any of the ones that i've ever fired um, but again it's it's definitely just superb work um, as far as this manufacturer goes so here is kind of that bipod I was talking about and the handguard and obviously the barrel as well. So um, for this particular bipod, it is Caldwell, um, Caldwell Shooting Supplies. For those of you that maybe like it and are interested, um, it's again right there, a very nice quality um, bipod that I purchased um, as an add-on for this. There's obviously gonna be more to come. Um, and for the actual hand grip itself, it's not really the tactical rail system, but it does have those little slits towards the bottom there to where you can actually incorporate a rail to then mount maybe foregrip or a bipod or whatever accessory that you're looking to uh, mount on your AR. So obviously here's the um, the MNP15 in its glory. It just looks pretty just amazing with the bipod. Um, I'll give you kind of an idea of what the magazines look like, but again, I, I definitely respect iron sights and I think it's really just super simple. You could just flip it down, mount some kind of optic there and you're good to go. Or if you're an iron sights guy, you're good. Just flip the lever on the sight, it'll flip it forward, make your adjustments as needed and you're basically ready to roll. It is just fantastic. So here is again where you would typically find the caliber that the rifle shoots. So in this case it is marked for 5.56 NATO. Um, if typically your rifle is chambered in 5.56 NATO it is actually able to fire a 223 Remington round as well. Um, also, you have the twist rate on here, and again, some additional markings as well. So, again, very fantastic quality of the barrel, and even the uh, flash hider, too. You can kind of see it has this really nice, um, just grooving to it. Um, I think it's just fantastically made, I would say. So next up, magazines. It's going to take just the standard PMAG. Um, these are going to be, obviously... Um, 30 round magazines and you're going to be you're going to be seeing the 556 by 45 at the top. However, these magazines are also good for 223 Remington as well. Um, I have these little sticker indicators here depending on what kind of caliber I have um, in these magazines. So in this case, I have 223s in this magazine um, as indicated by this red sticker. If it's 556 ammo, I'll have it in a um, light blue or teal color. It just helps me identify which magazines I am using. And this particular magazine has um, a little covering at the top. So if you do keep them loaded, um, it is going to be nice to kind of keep any contaminants from going in there. Um, obviously I'd recommend get like some kind of an ammo box or something, or ammo case to um, keep these from being exposed to the elements. But again, uh, came with one of these magazines um, for where I'm at least located. There's restrictions, but they were able to still send me one since I did purchase the actual rifle itself. So again, just a standard PMAG. So next up, just wanted to highlight the um, safety devices that the Smith & Wesson came with. So I'm going to pull the bolt back just to, um, if I can get it to close. There we go. Sorry, trying to do that with one hand was kind of a pain. Um, but anyway, it came with a lock and it also came with one of these... Um, plastic inserts to pretty much keep inside the breech there to make sure that again it's not loaded it's for safety reasons for storage and that sort of thing so obviously in this case comes with a nice little key and turn the key pop it open and then this little uh, metal lock comes out 
pretty great quality actually. I've had, I have one for my Beretta as well, um, same exact style. And then obviously here you guys can see, I'm going to try to, there we go. So there is pretty much the uh, inside there. So you have obviously the dust cover, just like a standard AR-15. Again, I did check this prior. It is um, cleared. There is no ammo. There is no anything there. So real quick, I'm just going to release the bolt. And then I'm just going to squeeze the trigger just so you guys can get a chance to hear that, um, that dry fire. Or actually, I have it on safety. That would probably help. So again, that is with the trigger disengaged. Yep, it's just smooth as can be. Alrighty, well I hope you guys enjoyed that um, just quick run through of this Beast AR. Um, I am hoping to hopefully get some kind of uh, um, shooting range video or something along those lines. Um, so you guys can see this beast in action. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. I have everything on it. Um, just ready to hit the range whenever I get a chance to. And I'm going to hope to make a video of that soon so you guys really can get a chance to see how this beast performs. And maybe it could be one that you'll pick up um, if it's something that appealed to you. But anyway, guys, um, thanks again for uh, checking out this video. Like I said um, in the beginning, uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, definitely subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, anything related to firearms, airsoft guns, car content. Um, and also support me um, through my store um, that's located on my channel where you can find um, pretty cool apparel. It'll help represent my, uh, my branding and it'll help support the channel. Very much appreciated, guys. Thanks again.